Hi, it's Tim from bn-games.com and we're doing another classic capture today. This is Super Star Wars for the Super Nintendo. One of uh, one of the many early Star Wars games, put it that way. Uh, and also one of the hardest games on the Super Nintendo, let's be yeah, honest. I, I, I played this today and uh, I forgot how hard this is. I also made the mistake of starting it on normal. <laughs> yep. It's uh, it's one of those games that um, it only gets harder. It, it's it's a it's a shooter um, platformer. It, yeah, it's a shooter Mario. It's Mar it's no, Mario it's if you gave it a gun and just like a whole lot more turtles. This right here, I didn't want to spend the whole thing, so I sped it up. Well, that's I, I, I always love how the music when you speed it up, it still sounds good. <laughs> Actually, that's one thing about this game. This is one of the best sounding Super Nintendo games, in my opinion. Um, it really it does it does Johnny Williams uh, soundtrack. Um, yeah, especially justice. Yeah, it really stays true to the music. Also, like it's it's not it's not. I don't know the word. It yeah. doesn't deviate. Yeah, it's not like they created like a lot of custom songs for it. Um, I hated how these enemies is like you kill it, respawn time is really quick. So, and for some reason, he can jump at it quicksand. So the thing to mention, besides the fact that it's a he's shooter, Luke fucking Skywalker. That's true. If he hasn't he's, got his lightsaber. No, but he's yet, Luke fucking Skywalker. If he hasn't got his lightsaber. He's the chosen one from the Force, or the second chosen one. I don't know how that works since his father's <laughs> supposed to be the chosen one. I guess he's like the chosen part Actually, two. I think they made the mistake on him being the chosen one. The chosen one was supposed to bring balance, not kill all of them. We have balances, but just killing them. Also, like that, this game had the upgrade of uh, as you progress, you could actually switch weapons. Um, Man, those like, motherfuckers just want you dead. And I like how they all—they look like the alien. Yeah, but uh, in um, it, there's pretty much plenty of health here. Uh, I will say though, on harder difficulties, it. Uh, not wise to stand still for more than you know a millisecond. Um, so there, there, there are three of these games that have a similar premise, obviously, because there's three movies. Uh, and the, uh, and, and su yes, Super Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. All with super in the start of the title. Yep. And um, unlike the NES games, NES Star Wars games that were pretty terrible, the Super Nintendo one was pretty good, although albeit extremely difficult. Although not not um, unfinishable. They they definitely. You could play through them, it just, you know, it was frustrating. Um, and you didn't get your lightsaber in this one until, you know, a little later. And once you get your lightsaber, you pretty much didn't use your gun. I don't I don't really remember using the gun at all after the fact. Uh, I, I never finished it. Uh, I never never really took the time to finish it. I've seen videos of it being finished. And there's always a really crazy boss at the end, too. Although, uh, the part that bothers me is the Sarlacc pit is supposed to be stationary and not jump out. Uh, no, actually, if you go by kind of like by the lore, there is one that, uh, like the smaller baby ones are supposed to be like sandworms. There's only supposed to be one. That's the only one I've ever heard of. Mark, oh. have you ever heard of any other ones? I have. Then again, you never read any of the books. Mm, that's true. I, have, I follow the movies. If it, George oh, Lucas. Did, yeah, you follow the movies. George Lucas didn't do it. I don't care. He did episode one, and that shouldn't exist. Hey, I, let's, hey, let's not go there. Episode I, one is I, fine. I, 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 well, one through three. Misa think you used to have a problem. Yes. I like how I'm standing right next to it, and it's taking very little of my health. I like how it's trying to hug you, and you're shooting it. <laughs> it's and you're being an asshole. <laughs> Here, have this cookie. Ah, you No, hey, hey, they're magic love bolts. And I like how it blows up, although it's made of sand. Well, and it's, it's flesh. <laughs> <laughs> So it just blows up out of nowhere. I guess that works. It's Star Wars universe. I guess. I guess that makes sense. Um, so you can get this game for fairly cheap, five to ten dollars, depending. Um, you can get all three of them sometimes for fifteen bucks in a package, and they all kind of play similarly. I like um, how Luke finds three PO. Not you know, he doesn't buy him from the Jawas. I also like how he's using binoculars, although he's like only what maybe twenty feet away. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make sure it's a droid. <laughs> yep. It's a, 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 a thermal scan. It just takes forever. I like how the, the escape pod is smaller than him, and it looks like R2 on its side. That's a really good point. I, I always thought that. It's like, wait, he's right there. He's just laying down. Pick him up. And uh, after the 50th try, here's Timmy's successful attempt <laughs> at getting to the sand crawler. Um, this is making use of the Super Nintendo's Mode 7. 
yeah, I also gotta, I gotta say, this is actually pretty impressive for a Super Nintendo game. Because it, it pretty much is a full-on 3D environment. Uh, although right here, it reminds me a hell of a lot of space here. It's it's impressive, but it's also a bitch. Cause... Oh yeah, it is extremely hard, because you gotta, not only do you have to pay attention to your health, you gotta pay attention to your jet fuel, you gotta, you know, see where the Jawas are at, because you gotta kill 12. And then after that, you gotta head to that giant sand crawler all the way back there. And I don't remember Jawas being able to fly around either. Well, they're in like little like hover Jetson, carrier. Jetson hovercrafts. And I, you know the other thing I want to mention is you see a bunch of creatures that you never heard of or ever seen in the movies or Spaces. anywhere else. And currently, let's date the video, in the Old Republic, some of those things I've never seen before. I still haven't seen it. I've been to Tatooine. And I, don't, I, I didn't play Star Wars online, so maybe they're there, but I've never seen them before. A little green monster thing. And that doesn't look like Star Wars. Get it out of there. That's how I feel about it. I like how you can fly up. <laughs> I also like how there's like just random fly jet up. fuel tower towers in the middle of every you know in the middle of nowhere. They're just giant jet. There you go. There you go. You're supposed to you're supposed to fly up more to get get around those things. Yeah, you hold down on the D-pad. It aims it. And uh, here's uh, Tim's last attempt at the song sand crawler. Yeah, I had to give up here. I, I just you know, although I will say shooting those jaws was, was oddly fun. It's like you shoot and it's just like. And he just flies. I, li I like that too. They they sound they sound correct. And this is like the most heavily defended sand crawler of all time. Yeah, I'm like, geez, why did the stormtroopers have it so easy? Seriously. Uh, but I mean, you know, we're 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 complaining about the difficulty. And if you're someone who likes to bang your head against something multiple times and redo it, um, you know, until you finish something on your own, then this game is definitely for you. I say this is also where I dis I discover if you hold the up button, he 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 flips. Uh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> he never did. Well, no, he did that actually in the movie. Not until he became a Jedi, though. Y yeah, that's why it's kind of like, hey. I don't know. Um, you know, it is one of those games where you will die a lot and have to have perfect, you know, precision through, you know, uh, and a lot of memorization. Start over from the very beginning because you only have so many continues. There is a password system, but the passwords are extremely long and they don't. You know, always gets you, puts you in the right place where you were essentially. You know, like I don't know, it, it can be problematic. It's not Mega I'm sure, Man. I'm sure if you have a like a game genie or something, you could probably do better. And it might be one of those ROM. games. Yeah, well, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't support that. that. Yeah. yeah, but um, you know, it's still it's still decent. It still holds up visually and definitely sound wise. I think the most impressive thing, and I know I've said this, but I, I really want to emphasize how good this sounds. Um, I should have used a thermal detonator. I forgot about that. It, um, it, it's, I think it sounds better than it looks, to be honest with you. Yeah, that's true. Um, I will say, because uh, I haven't played Return of the Jedi, but uh, Super Empire Strikes Back is uh, about equivalent to this. It, Although it you get your like... lightsaber right away, which is important. Yeah, well, by then he had his lightsaber. And then you get to ride jo uh, uh, Tauntauns. You don't get to do that here. All right, everyone. Well, this was Super Star Wars for the Super Nintendo. You can get it for fairly cheap if you like banging your head against the wall. Um, still a decent game. Uh, our complaints, like I said, are more, mostly difficulty, not content-wise and quality. Uh, please subscribe and let us know what you think. Thank you.